it. What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So the round of where we left off, we have to start engaging some of these Mughal forces around Bengal um, before they build up to be too strong once more. So one of my armies has marched out to intercept this small force um, just to prevent it from retreating north and meeting up with some of these other forces. Now we do have a full stack marching down towards us, so this will be a, a fight then retreat. Um, but nevertheless, let's take this opportunity to uh, destroy some Mughal troops. So there very much seems to be a focus by the Mughals on um, our Bengal position and less effort being expended to the south. So I very much want to increase my troops in the south and also uh, continue my plans for, oper for um, an amphibious landing to the northwest. But let's deploy my troops, it looks like, to be honest, to be probably be best served deploying both my guns together because the terrain is a bit undulating and there's a chance we might have to do a bit of redeploying. Let's pick up the deployed troops and group them together. We can set up another brigade on the left and we actually get left with quite a nice selection of troops to the rear as a reserve deploy the howitzers one unit of cavalry that will hold ground same with my general okay so I might actually then march my infantry into a better position ahead of my guns absorb some of my reserves I mean their artillery is deployed in a completely wrong way wrong position and crack and <laughs> carcass shots done some an absolute number on the 112th and the 111th Dakili run some of our troops into position because it looks like they might be uh, attempting to make a show of it. I mean the heads of these columns will be downed by our musketry because they're in range of quite a large number of our troops. Uh, this left brigade actually you can just continue to realistically to keep just keep pushing on the right brigade will join them once they've put down uh, this regiment of two man there we go these men march up and these two units just go perch out on the the flank then we still have two units of mercenaries to the rear most likely our heart is going to have to start firing the round shot, but that's not bad. It'll give them a good opportunity to start drawing up some kills. Let's run my infantry up. Yeah, they, are all, they are all running, so bear in mind I, I am now pushing up right when they want to push up. Field artillery focus on this main block. We could use quick climb, but there's no rush. Just set up a temporary battle line to engage the Zemandari horsemen. You guys bane it charged. Islamic swordsmen. Most of these massed attacks aren't going to go anywhere. Chase down the swordsmen. You guys chase down that Achille with reinforcements. 
these men take up position here. Bowmen of routed. Levy of routed. Who are you? Foot artillerymen. Charge my infantry into the flank. Let's start to pick new artillery targets. So my field artillery focus on the general's bodyguard. Howitzers focus on these units here. You guys set up. Where's my light cavalry? Dart you chaps forward. Fold this flank around. These guys are going to do a real number on the remaining troops. So we also might have to kill the Gurkhas here with our infantry, which would be nice. Then we have, so then these men. You guys chase down the Sikh warriors. You guys limp, well, walk over to that position. You guys just get out of the way and don't fire at anyone. Where's my light cav? Okay, my light cav's getting involved. The only people left remaining are the 24 pounder foot artillery. So we can hit you. You guys are going to hit them. You guys actually going to get kill these Gurkhas? Good stuff. It's, it's very much overkill to send all those men to go kill those Gurkhas, but... Damn right we're going to continue. Okay, hit the bowmen. We may as well go after the ones we are most likely to get. Because these... He might try the swordsman, actually. They're only... It's only five of them. And they're right next to a 24-pounder artillery unit. You focus on the bowmen. And let's increase... Actually, first of all... Stop the artillery fire. You focus on them. Where's my light cavalry? There it is. See if these guys make it. Well, they probably will, actually. My cavalry will probably make it to them. So I want you guys to kill the swordsmen. The gunners have been killed. You can go over here and help fight. Help my general fight these guys, although they're going to escape. And now it's only this lev unit of levy left. Which will escape, but after my general gets a good chunk of kills. That wasn't a close victory. That was a good victory. There we go, we got a thousand men for nearly 300 of ours. Let's push them back. Then you chaps fall back to the line. Undergo another round of replenishment. Chiefly because we need to keep these units together. So they are throwing more men into the fight. But our tactics are working and we're making gains elsewhere on the continent. you're replenishing let's keep my men let's keep my reinforcements they're being recruited behind the city is you're replenishing you're replenishing Siege works. Underway. you guys have a few damaged troops but to be honest it's probably worth just capturing the territory of Mysore so let's secure this next major city in the south and a city that will be a major recruiting centre for our efforts on the continent. I definitely need to go back and also check on how my recruitment's going in the US and in Britain, because I would very much like to hit the north east, uh, the north northwest section. Okay, let's keep my guns behind the hill. Now these depleted units, well, these units can take no part in the fight. So let's group them together. Put together our assault company. We're not going to need too many units. Just because they haven't got very much 
They haven't got very much uh, capacity. So my field artillery get up on walk up on top of this hill. Come on, stupid. There we go. My howitzers can march up just behind them. Because yeah, they've not they've got a lot of mortars, and that's you don't just want to. Hey, am I... Okay, you guys are my mortars actually in... So I feel that too. They're actually in range of mortars from up atop this hill. I think they are. Well. I may be sending my guns to their doom. Oh yeah, they're going to be done. As long as they get into position. Unsurprising. Some of my units have elected to flee. Focus on a section of the wall. It's one of how it says decides to take out a lot of their general. And what I might do is run my infantry in to provide uh, more targets for them to engage. You guys might actually be able to just shoot into the city. We are actually. There we go. Let's make sure we definitely have a way in. My flank companies are starting are going to get hit. By a lot of junk. Just spread them out across the wall to provide minimal opportunity for fuss. I mean, my howitzers could try and do counter battery, but it's just not. It just never works. Okay, let's sacrifice a unit of weakened cavalry. I mean, you guys aren't firing when you definitely should be. You guys have the unflattering um, role of forming square in the face of all this artillery. Am I round shot? I feel artillery not doing anything. Okay, hit the levee in the centre while my howitzers focus on getting us in. Plus these four also rush down ahead. You guys have to hit that garrison unit, which isn't going to go well. Chiefly because there's so much, that's quite a lot of troops.
You guys just keep climbing. The guys are trying to fire at the Zemindari horsemen. There we go, we're spreading out their artillery targets and there's not a lot they can do about it. See, this unit is winning, but it won't have the staying power. Slowly making good progress. I'm surprised they're not damaging their own wall too much. So I'm very much letting my men be slaughtered here just to uh, provide a. a lazy way in. Chiefly because my artillery is being engaged from the get-go. Don't really have a lot of choice but to just try and get in. This guy's going to walk out into my square formation, which is going to be lovely. Oh no, this unit may be about to die. Because they've managed to obliterate this section of the wall in no time at all. You men engage the armed populace, you men engage the levy. Some units try and get round the flanks and don't get directly involved in the scrum. You guys charge the howitzers. You guys get off the wall. The square's broken here, but let's reform it. You guys are still engaging. You guys hit the armed populace in the flank. The 34th run around the flank. Oh no, you can't. You're being engaged by the armed populace. Bring up our general. I'm managing to rout my men through sheer effort. Like, look, the mere act of these mortars going off, my men being nearby them, is enough to uh, freak them out. And these men can't technically get in. These men form square. They may, they may break from the charge. Let's get my cavalry in. Rapido. Although, to be honest, it looks like uh, they're going to suffer a mischief. Attempting to uh, swamp this unit here. And they may fire their mortars at me, but now they're firing over me. I'm within their minimum range. So you men, don't bother engaging their cavalry. The square can do that. You guys line up and begin firing at will. You men can now run through the gate. Our cavalry can get in. We we're always going to win that fight, but it would become a question of... Okay, you guys stop firing, just shoot into the back of the ATF regiment. The cavalry have been wiped out. So form a new position. Come on.
could charge in, but they've got elephants in there. I don't really want to mess around with them. It's been a very bloody battle, this has been. Okay, then you guys charge the armed populace in the rear. Stop my howitzers from firing, because the nearby shells might be enough to cause my men some mischief. This fire by rank will kill both their gunners and their mortarmen. Actually, no, you guys stop. Accidentally. Let's go. There we go. We've killed their general. There's a risk. Halt firing because we killed their general. So just send my infantry in to close the deal. You guys run back towards the gates. I mean, it's still squaring off against these garrison muskymen, but like I said, it's just a case question of numbers. My men may be to kill more of them, but eventually we will simply just run out of men. This infantry team can focus on killing their gun crews. The general can stay behind to secure the square. Although, to be honest, I probably need something more like that to kill him. keep charging in. My line infantry were always going to win that fight. It was going to be a, the problem was going to be could their low quality infantry fix my troops in position long enough for my mortars, for their mortars to do. Okay, this guy, he's if my officer had a pop with his pistol. <laughs> Hello. The armed populace has realised that this can't stand. So let's just charge some infantry into them just to make sure they don't run over and spoil our time. Although we've only got 30 seconds to go, so it's not as if we can really expect them to do too much trouble. So it's unfortunate this, this artillery is too close uh, for, more, for their mortars to engage. Or be able to engage, which is frustrating because it's quite a nice position, except for all these trees. But you guys engage. So we've got five seconds to go. And you guys pick up some fairly easy kills against the armed populace. Let's end the battle there, because otherwise this will drag on. But we've got Mysore, India's southern capital. This army might be at risk. But you guys replenish like mad, and then you can finally join them. Let's destroy this university. Keep the pleasure gardens. There's another army over there. So I may march these support these reinforcements over to Mysore and then yes, use Sixth Rate Ganges. I know you were meant to pick up a actual army. But you guys need to get over to the continent fast. Disembark this general and a new a new brigade of troops. Onward, awaiting further orders. So I do want you to be replenished. Okay, Mysore. Fix the Army Staff College, fix the Military Engineer School, fix the Rajas Palace, and fix the Observatory. I don't think there's as much... Um, so if we get rid of the university, that doesn't fix the problem. It gets us down to 
minus 11. But that'll probably be fixed by us fixing all of these things. But we do want to get on to recruiting here as quickly as possible. Let's send a seaport company down to secure Sir. this port. It's quite a decent navy, really. Lord. Too bad this chap's going to be down here. Causing up problems. Stirring up bad feeling. Uh, let's hop back to the Americas. Oh no, I remember this guy. This army's going to go and yes. capture the native territories, aren't you? Your humble servant. Okay, so once you've picked up... There you go. That'll be enough for that army to be finished. Over here in Philadelphia, you've got quite a decent army being built here, actually. So you've got space for five more troops. One, two, three, four, five... Theodore is... He's able to be mobilised because we've got ships ready to take him. Let's embark him and the agents. So this squadron of ships can sail over to India. Let's bring you back into position. Still got some good ships being built obviously we've got the Make ready. Danish rebels stirred up some bad feelings let's just Victory. auto resolve that fight and send my reinforcements in just to go take them out so I'm fairly sure this force will be more than enough to just deal with the majority of Rebellions we may have. I may seek to send an army south in case Hanover declares on us. Or just to have a force, you know, as a as a blockading as a blockading force down here. Yes, my lord. Uh, let's pick up a unit of militia. I want to fill up Lublik. The Swedes are bottled in, so the Sweden can't attack me over land because Hanover has this small spit over here, so that's pretty good. Apart from that, though, actually, maybe... Let's take some of these most experienced units out of the city and replace them with, granted, their fresh troops. Or oh, granted, they're not, they're not experienced troops. But I think it's the best thing to do. You keep recruiting and just slowly just start building up the forces. Same here at Cutac. There'll be a point where we don't need just pure infantry. We can actually start recruiting some uh, cavalry to help us fight. Okay, let's hit end turn. As one of our priests marches on. The British are going back to their government in exile over in Courland. Well, the French have taken Hanover. <laughs> and they've declared war on us. So who's going to join them? So we're, to be honest, we're enemies of lots of people. We could be we could be fighting many, many, in many, many more places than I currently am. But maybe uh, the army that I'm growing in London may now instead march down to Paris. Just to uh, teach them a lesson. Order reinforce the Copenhagen salient. Because we now have a... We now have a... Ooh, it's a full stack of troops. We now have a, a front with the French. Is that the... Is that the direction we go? And I think it probably is, because it's a bit more interesting than just sailing down and attacking Paris. That seems a bit... Seems very cheeky. But we need to fortify Copenhagen as our base of operations for our invasion south. Do I want to intercept that fleet? No. 
So I've got to be wary of my fleet. They might be in danger now. Okay, you keep doing some shenanigans south of Ceylon. You can blockade our ports if you like, Mughal Empire. We're coming at you. So they're gathering their strength. Ooh, we could intercept. And because we're at, we're at full strength, I think we are going to intercept. They're going to be bombarding us from long range of their great guns. But most of these troops are their elites, but they've not got actually many of them. To be honest, it's fairly simply in fairly simple battle to fight. And I think we've definitely got to take this opportunity. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for uh, the destruction of another Mughal stack near Bengal. Cheers, everyone.